Rahi invites you to be part of this discussion through a performance project that uses creative shadow stories and forum theater to bring the issue of incest and child sexual abuse out of the shadows in the city of joy. I asked him, come, snatch away my childhood, snatch it away brutally. It was my fault. I asked him to come so close to me, so close, so close I lost my breath, so close that I gagged, so close to that, that I bled, and the blood, it, it took away my life. Yes, it was my fault. I asked him to come so close to me that, that he left his marks on my body. Marks that disgust me even today. I called him so close to me that, that I was left crying. I was left crying when he would leave. So, guess who's coming for dinner tonight? See, another family plan. Honey, <laughs> no, no, beta. He's not somebody from our family. So, I think you can say he's more or less become a part of our family. Who is it, Mama? Really? I have to spell this out for you. Yes. Pramod, Uncle Beta. Who else will I talk about in this way? Pragati. Ha, huh, Mama. Why are you so lost all the time, Beta? Did you even hear a single thing I just said? I was listening to you, Mama. <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you, Pragati. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, Pramod uncle is going to come tonight for dinner and he's going to take you all out for ice cream. No, Mama. I cannot go out for ice cream. But, Beta, why? Pramod uncle's back after such a long time. He's the one who offered. Now, if I say no to him, won't it seem rude? Mama, I cannot go. You just manage. Pragati, what will I say to him? Mama, try and understand. I cannot go out. Prakati, you can be so difficult now sometimes. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll tell him you have some work, college work, and I'll, I'll tell him something. Fine, I'll just send Rohan with him then. No, Mama. Rohan is not going out with Pramod uncle. Prakati, you go out with your friends all the time. I never say no. You're meeting Radhika just this Thursday. Rohan doesn't get to do that. Let him go out with him. No, Mama. Rohan cannot go out. But Prakati, why? Because... Because I cannot trust Pramod Amkar with Rohan. Cannot trust Pram... Prakati, this is not some stranger that we're talking about. It's Pramod Amkar. We've left you alone with him all these years. Why can't we leave Rohan? Mama, I cannot put this into words. But Prakati, how will I understand if you don't explain it to me? Mama, you won't believe me. Mama, why won't I believe you? Mama, you don't believe most of the things that I say. What if you don't believe this as well? Those are silly stories about your college, about your friends. This is something serious, na? Why can't Rohan go out with Pramod uncle? Give me one reason. Mama, you won't understand. So, Pragati, make me understand. Wait, listen. What is wrong? Trust me, tell me what is wrong. Mama, sit down. Pragati. Mama, Mama, Pramod uncle is not a good person. Not a good... Did he say something to you, Vita? No, Mama. Mama, he... He's not a good person, Mama. Mama, remember those ice cream rides? Huh? Mama, he used to make me... Make me sit on his lap. And... And when I used to cry, he used to hug me even more tight. Mama, and he would, he would... Prakati, he would what? He would, he would put his hands inside, inside my clothes. And, and then he used to say, he used to say not to tell this to you and Papa. He, he used to say that this is, this is our little secret ice cream game. I'll, I'll talk with you later, huh? Yeah, bye. What happened, Ma? Whose brother? What did he do?
Shreya's brother. Shreya? Oh, Shreya's brother. Okay. You mean you mean Shubhoda? Yeah, it's it's Shubho. Yeah. What did he do? What happened? Shubho has has what? What happened? He has he has abused Shreya sexually. What? Wait, wait, wait. Ma Shubhoda. He can never do something. It's impossible. He Shub has done it. And he is still abusing Shreya. Ma, trust me. Shubhoda will never do something like this. I mean, do you even know Shubhoda? He's such a he's like a champion, you know, in the best boy of the, he's the best boy in the neighborhood. He is abusing her. Her own brother. You mean incest? Are you serious? Yes, 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 yes! He is abusing her! And, and why aren't you people believing me? Shh, shh, it's okay, it's okay. Calm, calm down, calm down, Nandini, please. Aren't so, we supposed so. to do anything at all? I think we should at least go to our school. Wait, wait, wait. The matter is not that simple, okay? And we really don't know the truth. Baba, have you ever thought if, if I would have been in her place? Could you have turned away your face even then? Or, or maintain such silence? Her talking to us is the first step. Knowing that we all believe her and support her will help a lot. It will make a huge difference. We can decide with her what to do next. Maybe we can talk to the parents. We can even go to the principal. Yes, Nandini. Mira, please go and talk to her. Tell her that I am with her. No, no, no. Tell her that... that we all are with her. Yes, we are with her. basically do is we will basically recreate some situations from the plays which you've already seen and we'll debate them on stage so that uh, all of us agree on certain truths. You know he loved me so much. He, he, he brought so many presents for me, so many gifts. It was, it was really special. You know I really love, love Stop. He was being abused for eight years. He was raped every day for a whole month and his friends also joined, the abuser's friends also joined. But yet he's saying that he actually liked it or maybe liked him, liked his attention and wanted to make sure that the relationship continued. He actually strategized so that he wouldn't ignore him. Do you think that's possible? So I was saying that uh, sometimes in life what happens is that People are usually ignored by everyone around them and uh, they don't really have friends to talk to or they don't really feel comfortable talking to their family also. So that little attention that they get, whether it's in the right way or the wrong way, Wonderful. they Wonderful. feel Wonderful. good about Wonderful. it. Wonderful, Namrata. That's a great round of applause. That's absolutely wonderful. But I'm trying to draw attention to myself. At the same time, I don't know how to deal with it. I'm inviting attention. I'm coming first. I want people to look at me. Hello, I am here. I'm not one of those backbenchers whom you don't see. I come first in class. I'm like this really cool guy. Look at me. Here I am. Standing out from the crowd. Wanting people to come close to him. At the same time, pushing people away. Not really coming close to anybody. The word that I'm looking for is extremes. Abuse, child sexual abuse can lead to extreme behaviors. This is one of the behavioral types. It could also be that the child goes into a shell and doesn't talk to anyone. It could also be after the child becomes a survivor after 18, he could show various signs of that abuse still in, in, in the child, be it male or female, like, like Rahi works with with female survivors, there are all sorts of issues in their behavior that, that 
that happen even after they have crossed it, crossed that stage, long maybe they've moved ahead. This extreme uh, type of character we can uh, we can notice in all kind of survivors, be it female, be it male adult survivors. So like they can have uh, they can have no sex at times, they can have uh, very attracted to sexual thing. So too extreme, there could be uh, like she was sharing with us, this extreme type of characteristics we can notice uh, in the character of any, any kind of survivors and this the story where uh, we have a sin, like um, he was overachieving in studies, he was a cool guy, he was mixing with uh, friends, he was dating, so a kind of extreme behavior he was showing in his life. Thank you guys, thank you all the cast and crew out of the shadows, thank you Eileen for having us here and being so patient for the last uh, one um, hour and uh, please share this experience with your friends.